writer and director of Filling In. Filling In is described as a uh, comedy fantasy and uh, our log line is um, a uh, down on his luck gi gentle giant of a man is considering a risky and covert career path to help him uh, to help him figure out the ropes. He, a grizzled vet in the field takes him under his wing. And if you know a little bit more about it, you can see where we're playing with words there with the time. Um, it was really a situation where both of the stars of the film are former students of mine from two totally different generations. Um, the older Grizzle guy, when he was 16, I was his band director in California. So I've known him for almost 40 years. Um, the uh, big gentle giant uh, is a former student of mine from 2006 up in Lebanon. Uh, and. Uh, uh, his name is Jared Odrick. Uh, Jared Odrick went on to play for the NFL. He was with the Miami Dolphins and then went to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Currently he's a free agent. Uh, he's still a free agent, but if somebody's smart enough to pick him up, they've made a good choice. But uh, he's been working on Ballers also on HBO, been on several episodes of that. And uh, so whenever he does finish up pro football, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he went full into acting. But I uh, don't know at this point. But either, anyway, what inspired it was wanting to come up with a film for both of these two guys who I knew were interested in acting. And uh, so it's been a really neat opportunity to reconnect with them now as adults, uh, because when they were my students, they were teenagers. Um, and now to create a comedy that brings out the best sides of both of them as actors. We uh, had a good time with that twist at the beginning. Um, uh, I, but as you, once you get past that twist, you see that things are going to be okay. But we love the idea that people are cringing at the beginning like, I don't know if I want to watch this or not. And that, that's, uh, that's working to our favor. We love playing with that with the, with the teaser, our trailer, we do that. At the very end of the trailer, you get a little glimpse of where this is going. But in the poster, it's subtly in there. But we love people having the discussion about that bowl of teeth on there. Uh, and that's, uh, that plays in, that's a fun um, additional twist that you find out later on, why those, that bowl of teeth are on the poster. We are very much going for um, a feel much, what way I describe filling in to my friends is it's sort of like uh, Sons of Anarchy at the office in Fairyland. Uh, and so we're really going for that kind of office downscale kind of thing um, and not trying to compete with people who have all the money to do fancy CGI. We want people to forget about the wings and just let that be part of the person. And uh, I, think we've, I think we've succeeded with that to where it's when we want them to pay attention to it, it happens, but you can forget about them as just being part of the person. We, we love seeing the reaction from the audiences when that first twist happens. Um, and it's a joy to watch it with the uh, audiences as they discover this whole new world that we're playing with here. Um, I don't know if you caught it or not, but the ending of the short film is actually very open-ended and uh, intentionally. Uh, filling in is the short is actually a proof of concept for a comedy series. So as we get to that last scene, which we're not going to give away, uh, doors open to where filling in can be going. Uh, and that it's uh, really, the series will involve um, this whole other mythological, magical world um, uh, where it could be taken. So in that last scene, when Kevin looks directly, breaks the fourth wall, looks in the camera, and then we goes in and we discover what M&M stands for, and you listen to the receptionist, we figure out, oh wow, this is not just a tooth fairy story. Uh, this is, the series is gonna be about a temp agency. We'll just yeah, put it that way, totally. you got that. <laughs> We're winning it very downscale, very uh, real, you know, and to, uh, to make it feel like it's, it, what's, our tagline is it's strictly business. So, you know, the tooth fairy, you know, for those out there who, you know, know that the tooth fairy is real, what you need to know though is that it's a multi-billion dollar industry and 
it's strictly business. It's not a philanthropic thing. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, uh, we know as children, you know, that the Tooth Fairy's got bigger things in mind. Uh, Filling In is a Dadley production. Um, our first short was called Roller Coaster. It won, ended up winning 28 uh, awards and is now on Amazon Prime. And that was actually a father-daughter project. My daughter's a star of Roller Coaster. She won several awards as Best Actress. I was fortunate to be recognized for my direction in it. And from that, we formed Dadley Productions. Why Dadley? My name is Bradley. And when we came up with the idea of filling in, Sarah Hawkins is actually the producer of filling in. I'm the uh, writer-director. But she felt weird calling me dad on set and everyone else called me Bradley. So she came up with, I should call you Dadley. And that's stuck and that's the name of our production company. So anyway, Dadley Productions now has two feature films that are in development. We have, uh, we're looking at turning filling in into a comedy series. So we've got a treatment that we're working on with 12 other episodes. Uh, so we're looking to pitch that. Um, but uh, we're looking to, we're, we're well down the path of, uh, script creation for two feature films that we hope to shoot in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. This is my second trip, my only my second trip down to Georgia. And uh, my first trip was last year when we attended a first year festival in Columbus called the Way Down uh, Film Festival. Yeah. I was so impressed with being in Georgia, now both times, being there in Columbus, an hour south of Atlanta, yeah. and now here in Lawrenceville, an hour north of Atlanta. And I see why things are happening here in Georgia. The passion, the enthusiasm that you have, Kevin, and that what I saw down in um, Columbus uh, with their festival, it's infectious. And um, I've been doing the bi-coastal thing as an actor director. I act also. I've been uh, on camera as many times as a uh, detective as I've been wearing orange. I've played murder killers three times on TV. Uh, but I, so I've gotten a lot of acting jobs out in Los Angeles, but now at 60, I'm really interested in what's happening here in Georgia. And uh, so was very pleased that you accepted uh, filling in as an excuse for me to come back down here to Georgia. And uh, we hope to bring, be bringing filling in down to several more festivals throughout the next year uh, that we've submitted to because uh, I've got my eye on Georgia here. Things are happening here. The connections, the networking is, is paying off. Funny story is we first crossed the border. Um, we stopped at our welcome center and there was a cutout of the uh, guy from uh, Walking Dead there. So I got my picture with him there as soon as we came over the border, it was fun. Um, so, and also uh, they're talking about tours now for Hollywood, Georgia there. So things are definitely happening here. Uh, so we're very thrilled to be back. It was a beautiful drive too, uh, the drive we took from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania to here. It was an easy, comfortable drive. Uh, so uh, we're really pleased to be here. Yeah, I got something for you. Um, we uh, didn't make, for roller coaster, we didn't do a traditional uh, business card. We made drink coasters and they were a big hit at the film festival. So we thought, what can we do for filling in? We, so we don't have a business card, but Kevin, I didn't give this to you yet. We made toothbrushes for filling in. And there's your filling in toothbrush. <laughs> So it has the website on one side, and the other side it has our tagline, which it's strictly business. Nice, thank you. <laughs>